Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. You know, you're also the founder of Support Raising Solutions. I think it's supportraisingsolutions.com, is it? Dot org. Dot org. Okay. Supportraisingsolutions.org, SRS. And <coughs> um, uh, The God Ask has been a pivotal book that I think has shifted uh, the ideas of how we go about fundraising. It transfers so well in communal societies. It is not only for Americans. I, I, that's what I loved about it. It was so relational. Now, I told you before we started recording how what a big blessing the God Ask your book has been in Within Reach Global and me personally. Um, I also love, I always share this, uh, and I was, uh, it's a something, a small little PDF that you guys produce. It's called A Fresh Biblical Approach to Fully Funding Your Ministry, Five Keys to Personal Support oh. Raising. I mean, it's super easy to go through. I think it's like seven, five or seven pages of a PDF. I'm just going to, I'm going to go through those uh, five keys because I think you touched on things that... <laughs> Uh, that are right here. It says, number one, understand the biblical basis of support raising. I mean, it's all throughout the Bible. Number two, kill the giants in your own mind. Jumping over those hurdles that you just mentioned. Number three, pray and plan well. Number four, ask them face to face. Number five, cultivate cultivate that relationship. You wrote the God Ask. Uh, You've seen it, I think, used around the world. Talk about that funding component, because I think that's either the crutch or the excuse or the reality of many people who want to send. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. It's the biggest felt need for sure, isn't it? I mean, um, you know, I, 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 my own little observations over the years, David, uh, is, you know, is that it could be up to 90 percent of people that feel called to missions or called to ministry. Um you know, get all excited about it. They may be feeling wooed by the Holy Spirit. And maybe now we don't go to conferences or look at brochures on tables. We, we go to the Internet and, and we're, we're, we're excited about Within Reach Global Organization or CMM or crew or, you know, pioneers or something. And we're, we're excited. And we're, this is what I think God wants me to do until we get to a little section, a little fine print, one little line. It says you must raise your uh the par. Uh, <laughs> you read that exactly and, and how I think it, 90. Uh, wow. Wait, that is that and, right there. And, and, that's the default yeah. image that we're going to use. All right. <laughs> it is stunned. You can barely yeah. speak. Well, I think up to 90% of the people that, that, you know, right then at that moment, they turn and walk away. Hmm. Yeah. How tragic is that? Yeah. I mean, that, that we would allow fundraising or, or, or money at all to be the determining factor for our mm. calling, for our vocation, for wow. our commitment to this, to, to, to responding to the Holy Spirit in, in missions or ministry. And so if the greatest need is laborers, is what Jesus said in Matthew 9, I think over the years, my experience has been one of the greatest obstacles of getting those laborers out there and spread out across the planet. It, 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 the greatest obstacle is funding. Wow. Okay. So if we can if we can keep focused on raising up laborers all over the planet, but then figure out how to get them funded, hmm. uh, that's that's been kind of the one the greatest need, and attacking the greatest obstacle. That's kind of been the, one of the one two punches we're trying to do, and that's why supportraisingsolutions.org. I hope your listeners will go to that site yes. because we've been packing it for twenty years with every imaginable kind of tool and resource and article and training and things that, that are trying to serve the body of Christ to meet this need. And so I believe probably my estimate is 70% of the world's full-time Christian workers around the planet are what we call faith missionaries. Okay. They don't receive the golden monthly salary check like Western denominational pastors do. Um, they're, they're responsible for raising their own funds from family and friends and churches and groups. And well, um, that's that's who we're going after. We're going after those people who, who feel called to missions, called to ministry. And how do you help build a biblical basis? That's mm. where it starts. Yes, yeah. I, I like how that's the first point of that five keys to funding, fully funding your ministry. From Old Testament, New Testament principles and commands yes, and, yeah. and, and role models, even Jesus himself, if you read Luke 8, he himself lived off of, he and his men, the ongoing support of individuals during his three years of ministry. So if the son of God did it, (laughs) hello, uh, (laughs) I think that it's okay. And for for us to do it. So 
we've been training workers um, for 20 years now, uh, all over the world, um, the biblical and practical steps of putting their entire support team together. Mm, yes. And so our little, our little vision statement for SRS is uh, we want to flood the nations. See, that that's big for us. Flood. We want to flood the nations with great commission workers who are spiritually healthy, vision driven, and fully funded. Wow. Yeah. Sounds so, like a winning model right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, check back with me in 10 years. I'll let you know how we're doing. Well, that's, I guess that's what you kind of uh, <coughs> bring me into this because you've already written the God Ask. You know, you've got all these. It's, SupportRaisingSolutions.org. I mean, I, I lived on there for some time. I would encourage everyone to go check that out. SupportRaisingSolutions.org. And um, you've written this. You've told how to do it. It's enhanced many people's lives. However, the reality is people just don't do it, right? So is is that probably one of the obstacles as well? That we have the resources. The resources available at SRS, to, you know, the website, your book. Is it a bigger, more underlying drive or motivation in that the, the question is not so much about money or fundraising or going from the West to the rest or the reach to the unreached? Is it more something that has to do with the Lordship of Christ in our hearts and that perhaps he does not have full Lordship over our lives? And thus, when he says, go to this place or that or the other, we aren't willing to go anywhere and eat anything and do anything for the sake of the gospel. Yeah, I think fear, we, we underestimate, um, you know, how much fear controls us. We, we move towards those things that are safe and comfortable hmm. and we move away from those things that are intimidating and, you know, and, 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 and scary to us. Um, the idea of personal support raising, it just terrifies people. That's what, that's one reason we wrote that little booklet. Yes. We're ba- that, that little booklet, five keys to raising your personal support. We, we get that all out to all these agencies who are recruiting their staff because as they're talking to potential candidates, let's face it, the main reason they do or don't come on staff is that support raising component. Yeah. Okay. They can say all day long, oh, the Lord is leading me here and the Lord is leading me there. No, no. Deep down, they may not even realize it subconsciously, but it's this fear of either uh, of raising support. So it, it's either fear of not knowing how or fear of failure or fear yeah. of rejection. Yeah. And so I understand that I experience fear, fear myself. And so if you can get that little booklet in their hands and now we've got one for their, their parents, <laughs> we've got oh, really? another booklet okay, good. for donors and parents out there who don't even understand what support raising is. Wow. Okay. Uh, but, 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 you're basically telling that potential candidate, hey, don't don't walk away. Uh, don't be part of the 90 percent that just turn and walk away. Um, this is biblical. Living on support, asking for support, you know, uh, ministering on support. Those are biblical things. And we can train you how to do this. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart. Join his mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.